Good morning, gang. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today and get to do what you love doing most. I went and spent the day with my mom yesterday. Today we'll be spending the day with Sarah and her mom. I hope all you mothers out there get to have a day just having fun and doing everything that you want to do because you work hard and all us kids appreciate our moms, right? So, why am I coming to you on Sunday? I'm coming to you on Sunday instead of Monday because the challenge is over as far as points go Thursday at 11.59 p.m. We need to cut it off so by Saturday we can have all the points totaled and know who won for the big party. So, come to you a day early. The score right now, I woke up this morning, Team Sean T was ahead. But then I entered my team points that I had built up for the week for all my peeps. And now Team Tony is back in the lead. Maybe 80 points, 60 points, something like that. It is super, super close, guys. Anyone's game right now. And to make it a little more fun, I'm going to update the scoreboard after this video one more time. Then I'm going to visit our Google document that all us coaches have been adding. And at the top it has a scoreboard that adds the score as we go. I'm going to pull the plug on that and delete it. So nobody's going to know who won until I go back and add the formula in on Sunday to see who won. I thought that'd be a little more fun for all us coaches. So as we're entering, we don't, we don't know who's winning. So we can't give updates. We're not going to know until Saturday. I'll do it right before the party and we'll see who won. So coaches, there's your surprise. It's week eight. One last challenge. This is my favorite challenge. We call it the Be Proud and Inspire Challenge. What is the Be Proud and Inspire Challenge? Well, what I want you to do is take a picture or a video. A picture or a video. Must be one of those two things. You can't just type. You, you have to do it. Everyone knows how to at least upload a picture. I know videos can be tough sometimes. If you have trouble with a picture, ask someone to help. It must be a picture of a video or a video of something that you can do now that you couldn't do when we started the challenge. It might be the fail challenge that we had really early on, I think in week two, where people were, I want to be able to do uh, on my toe push-ups. I want to be able to do a pull-up. It might be that. Now you can do it. Awesome. Take a video of it and post it, right? Or maybe you can't do that yet. Maybe you can get halfway. Awesome. That's better than when you started. Take a picture or video of it. Or maybe it has nothing to do with an exercise. Maybe it's your belt loop is your three holes in. Or you're eating healthy now. Here's a picture of my dinner. I used to eat McDonald's. Anything that you can do now that you couldn't do when we started that you are proud of. Post it in the group. You get five points. The inspired part of it, the best part of it, is post it on your public page. Make sure you tag your coach in each place, you get five extra points. That's the inspired part of it. That's where you can have an impact on those people around you. You can set an example for your kids. You know, they're probably not on Facebook, but you can show them the video or the picture. Your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend. I know a lot of you guys struggle with you're dialed in and you want to be healthy and your spouse or your boyfriend, girlfriend doesn't see the priority and the importance of it. Show them that it's important to you. You might have a family member, a parent, maybe your mom that you want to show, please be healthy. Please take care of yourself. We want you around for longer. A friend that is unhealthy. Inspire them. All of you guys have inspiration right here. Every one of you can inspire those around you. Everybody. My favorite poem by Marianne Williamson, and I have it memorized. I'm gonna try, I might choke on video, but I have it memorized and I'm gonna try and recite it for you right now. It is my go-to inspirational poem. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your 
playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. And when we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give those around us permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. I hope that has meaning to you. I know some of you guys, you're embarrassed to post something you're proud of. It is a problem in our society that people are afraid to be proud. If you have gotten a six pack from this challenge, if you have muscles from this challenge, if, if you're, you're just feeling good about yourself, don't be afraid to put it out there. Be proud and inspire. Love you guys.